Hey everybody, it's your boy Mike Charles Nahunu, creator of the Antiquity Project. NFTs is a new medium of expression that I like to use to tell my story. And this particular story is a theme that connects faith, family, and finance. And it's meant, all the creations are meant to last a thousand years more, right? Because when you think about the antiquity or anything that's antique, that it holds its value. And in a blockchain world, we're looking for assets that's gonna maintain at least maintain its value over time, but also um, increase in value and appreciate like all art does, at least fine art, good art, um, meaningful arts with a good story. So MC is the protagonist on the Antiquity Project. He's the guy you're at least supposed to be rooting for, right? While I tell the stories of um, the battle of uh, me trying to save my father's legacy. It's, just, it's a true story, you know, So and it's ongoing, right? So we're dealing with ancient and current events. That's the inspiration behind the Antiquity Project. And MC is my ability to be a character in my own movie, right? So um, I get to say what I normally won't say in a real business setting or in a real life setting, you know, but I, I get to have that full freedom of expression through these NFTs and through the music and arts when you blend them. Um, I'm a businessman, I'm a family man, I'm a Christian, but... I got into NFTs in 2019. I got into cryptocurrencies officially, officially on January 2017. But I've been in blockchain now since 2014, 2013, 2014. So seven years, seven plus years. And I use that to help save my father's legacy. That's the most important thing to me. Um, you know, dealing with data, dealing with operations running a company in ivory coast 5,000 miles away i re i rely on data data is money to me <laughs> February 2021 and actually that's why I love the blockchain that's why blockchain rules if you just go verify on the ethereum blockchain you'll see that I was the first musician to sell a full song and video as an nft on the blockchain yeah check it out put a post on a Facebook um, cryptocurrency, black cryptocurrency group that I'm a part of. And I, you know, I said, uh, any graphic design artist is wanting to make a black version of this for me. Um, and so sure enough, it was a big um, response. Everybody loved the idea. Um, and then um, the female that I chose, I'm actually gonna be sharing, or I am sharing already 
um, royalties um, from the sales of Mr. Millennial. So we get to put the music business model on top of an arts model using NFT. recording crypto I purposely didn't put any cryptocurrency on there but I actually and outside of Bitcoin I've got about 77 different altcoins and on this project I reveal my top five yeah my top five Most is my mother. She's my number one musical influence because she was the first voice, voice I heard when I was born. She, she used to sing to me. Uh, she said I used to sing back to her at six months. She sings in the, um, many churches, many um, choirs. Many people know her in my community, in this community. Um, and, you know, she raised me in the church. So largely I was just influenced by church music. Um, uh, one of them, the main one is Kim Burrell. Uh, I'm influenced by Kim Burrell, but then outside of um, sacred music, when you go into secular music, right, it was Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. So I went from church music to gangster music. I believe some of the NFTs may feature um, samples of a, of a project I'm working on with my little brother, Paperboy Faith, two-time Grammy nominee, super producer, works with big names, Dr. Dre, uh, Rihanna, shout out to the homie Brent, um, a lot of names there um, that he's worked with, Genuine, Tank, Tyrese, uh, this goes on. Um, so I'm working on an idea that I tapped from um, back in the day, real, real classical music. Um, Johann Sebastian Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, right? They did what we call movements, where you hear this full um, experience, and it would sound like it's, you know, five different songs, but it's actually the same song with one title. think about history that just was made um, with the shout out the people the first 5,000 days which sold for 70 million dollars um, by uh, medical so not only is the creator um, in power but the uh, collector is too medical right so again that's why that's which is the beauty of today's day day and age so but also um, the person who bought the world's first music and video as an NFT, which I created. Shout out to Jason Lur, he was the first person. So he's like medical to me. So patrons that uh, patronize the Antiquity Project will know that 70% of all profits goes back to other grassroots initiatives, especially in the arts and blockchain, technology, financial uh, education, especially for the youth. So I'm working with uh, partnerships with different programs that um, help to help facilitate this initiative. This is obviously a big initiative.